16 Bizarre Beach Finds With so much of the planet covered in water, it's hard to imagine just how many things can be in those large oceans. Some people speculate that a total of 16 million human bodies could be laying on the sea floor. But what about the random objects that humans use? From cars to a giant eyeball, let's see what's been found. 16. Love Letters What a romantic notion that letters from decades beforehand can be found and returned to their intended reader. That's what happened when a pile of 57 love letters were found after Hurricane Sandy. The letters were written during World War II by Dorothy Fallon to her soon-to-be husband, Lynn Farnham. Sadly, her lover passed away before being able to receive the sweet notes. Like a scene from a movie, one letter read, Well, darling, two weeks from today and we will be married. It's a good thing that Farnham didn't get upset at the thought that his fiance wasn't bothering to send him letters because the two married in 1948. 15. Lego Pieces Legos are so pescally tiny that it's totally understandable that they're easy to lose. But we would never have guessed that this many Lego pieces have been lost to the Big Blue Sea. 5 million tiny plastic blocks. They typically wash ashore on the beaches of Cornwall in the United Kingdom. How could so many Legos appear out of the sea? Well, it's not because fishermen and boat captains are obsessed with building brightly colored structures in their free time. It's because a ship, the Tokyo Express, was victim to a huge wave in 1997. Five million Legos were inside of a box that fell overboard on the ship. The rogue wave ended up creating a pretty ironic accident because it's become a popular hobby to collect Legos found there. This picture shows a tiny portion of the inventory that made up some of the Legos that were lost at sea. And it's even more ironic that some of them are life preservers and scuba diving flippers. Wouldn't you agree? 14. Bigger Lego But wait, there's more Legos. If you thought the tiny Legos that wash ashore on the beaches of the UK were impressive, just wait until you see this larger-than-life Lego man that first appeared on the sandy shores of the Netherlands in 2007. But he didn't stop his trek there. This Lego must have had a passion for sailing the high seas because he ended up on the beaches of Siesta Key Beach in Florida and later in Los Angeles, California. He wears a Lego graphic tee that says, No real than you are. So it's evident that this Lego Leonard started out as some type of existential art project. 13. All Eyes on You This photo, taken from National Geographic, showcased an eyeball from a mysteriously creepy unknown undersea dweller. In 2012, the Fish and Wildlife Commission found that it belonged to a swordfish, but it must have been the largest swordfish of all time. It had the entire marine biology community and local population of Florida's Pompano Beach puzzled, and it took a few days to get everything sorted out. Nevertheless, the beach patron who found this thing had to have been pretty freaked out. 12. Ambergris Let's start by stating why ambergris is in high demand. It is used in production of fine perfumes in Europe, as it helps fixate the perfume's fine scent onto skin for a long-term wear. Also, different pieces of it offer different enticing smells, from musky to sweet. A boy found a pound of it when walking on the shore with his father, and it ended up being worth an estimated 60,000 US dollars. Now, we will shock you with what ambergris really is. Whale vomit. Yes, you heard correct. Exactly. Ambergris is an intestinal fluid that is discharged by sperm whales, and its texture hardens in the water. So next time you see children searching for sand dollars and seashells on the shores, just give them a tip. 11. Piece of History This guy on vacation in the Bahamas may have been on his way to the nearest tiki bar when he saw this massive chunk of spaceship peeking its crevices out of the shallow waters. It was determined that the debris was part of the Falcon X-9 rocket failure, a transport ship fashioned by Elon Musk's futuristic space program. The discoverer tweeted Musk a picture of his find, and Musk replied, That's a pretty rare way to get in touch with one of the world's smartest and wealthiest people, but hey, it worked. 10. See slug you later. When you think of California purple hair, you may think of a cute rabbit with purple ears or a bunny that keeps its habitat in purple flowers. But unfortunately, the California purple hair don't hold an iota of appeal. They sometimes wash up on the sands of beaches in Oakland and Richmond, California. Beachgoers who are crazy enough to pick up these slimy little guys have reportedly confused them for human body parts. It's common for them to wash ashore in the summer months, but lately, they have been doing so all year round. Perhaps in indicating the effects of global warming. With majestic purple ink expelling from their pores, these unique creatures look far more fascinating in the water than on land.
9. Wedding Ring The idea of losing a wedding ring may be one of a newlywed bride's worst fears. Of all the objects you could lose in the ocean, a diamond ring is one of the smallest and hardest to find underneath all that sand. Well, as it turns out, there are more than a few stories of wedding bands being successfully found and happily returned to their owners. This happy couple, Rosa and Rudy Pineda, isn't just smiling because they've been happily married for over a 16-year period. Rosa's ring was recovered after her employing the services of a professional ring hunter, Larry Royal. She posted her cry for help on a ring finder website, and with the help of his metal detector, Royal found it for her 19 days later. 8. Redux This man and woman don't look like your typical BFFs, but their story would bind them together forever. The same instance happened for a fortunate Queenswoman in 2014. Erin Carrozzo posted on Facebook about her missing wedding band and engagement ring, which were both worth $13,000. Ironically, retired firefighter Mike Kogan found the ring two days after it went missing and posted about it on Facebook as well. Over time and through social media magic, the two were able to find each other and return the ring back to its rightful finger. It just goes to show that Facebook really can change lives. 7. Valuable Sneakers It's not uncommon to find someone's shoe on the beach, even if it's a Nike sneaker, but a collection of special Nikes has helped oceanographers determine ocean currents. They were thrown overboard during a tumultuous sea storm in 1990, and much like the Legos we mentioned earlier, have been prized beach finds ever since. They come with the code 90406, so if you happen to find one, just know you're touching history. 6. Shore Snacks The ample amount of Doritos bags pictured here look like the messy result of a crazy beach grill out bash. The ample amount of Doritos bags pictured here look like the messy result of a crazy beach grill out bash. But that's not why they were found on the shores of a beach in North Carolina. Another cargo ship incident resulted in a raining of Doritos bags in 2006. Much to the people's surprise. Surprisingly, the bags were still in their airtight packaging, so a few see Eagles and even people were filled to the gills with cheesy, corny, chippy goodness. 5. Menacing Montauk Monster We reported on this a few weeks ago in our Insane Internet Rumors video, but if you missed it, we can't wait to tell you about the Montauk Monster scandal. The 2008 online rumor that some type of weird monster carcass had washed up ashore in Montauk, New York, has been surrounded mostly by the question, but why? The photo was taken by Jenna Hewitt and published in a local publication, The Independent, and sparked multiple rumors about where the animal must have originated from and what type of animal it even was. The photo was passed around to notoriously prank websites like Gawker and Jezebel, so it's hard to truly believe in its legitimacy. However, this case still hasn't been solved. 4. A favorite friend We're so jealous that this woman is hanging out with the one and only E.T. And we hope they're enjoying bags of delicious Reese's Pieces. The UK's Daily Mail posted a charming story in 2012 about a woman and her reunion with a beloved famous friend. This E.T. replica was stolen from the home of Margaret Wells, along with other valued items. While we're not sure about the jewelry, we are happy to see that the replica was returned after washing up on shore 5 miles away. E.T float home. 3. Sea Station Wagon The only thing more shocking than seeing this car appear on the sandy shores of a California beach called Morro Bay, California, is how well the gorgeous blue pigment in the leather seats has held up. If you can't tell from the seaweed that's covering it, this is a 1960s Pontiac Station Wagon. It was abandoned in 1973 on the beach. 2. Landfill to Beauty Filled California's vast coast provides many an opportunity to enjoy a unique beach landscape. These gorgeous, multicolored glass rocks at Fort Bragg, California appear to be naturally made, but they have some history behind them. The self-proclaimed glass beach at Fort Bragg used to once be a site for a landfill before 1967. The ocean washed away much of the trash, but some glass bottle pieces remained. Over time, they have been smoothed over by repetitive waves, smoothing over to give the pebble appearance. Guests of the beach are not allowed to take the treasured pebbles because they are protected by the California state parks. But searching through the colorful stones to see what all you can discover is. Don't start collecting your beach gear and metal detectors just yet, because we have one more beach find to tell you about. But first, here are some comments from today. Thanks, guys! 
1. Granddaddy of them all This might not necessarily be the most bizarre thing that's washed up on a beach, but it's most definitely the most insane situation. In 2015, a vacationing family in Wales, England discovered an enticing metal object buried in the sand. They knew it had to have been from another time period, and pretty old, because it was mostly covered in barnacles. They hung around it and took photos in front of it all day long. In an insane twist of fate, the object was actually an unused device from war World War II. What? Luckily, no one was in the vicinity when the object was safely detonated by the Royal Navy just a few days later. We're glad everyone is okay.